Hi, I'm Trent Wilson and I'm a junior at Aurora High School. I interviewed Ron Elge about his military service. Throughout this video, you will learn about his experience in the U.S. Army. You will notice some interactive pop-up features that will provide more information when you click on them. My first days, um, well, was um, inducted at Omaha, then we took a train to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and that's where I did basic training. Um, I was kind of held up for a couple of weeks um, before we actually started, <coughs> excuse me, basic training. Some of us were chosen to go to a, a, what's called the NCO Academy to be assistant uh, drill instructors in, uh, during the basic training. So we had kind of a crash course there, and I don't know if it was because of uh, probably our age and uh, experience prior to being in the Army. So that's what I recall there. Um, for a while, while we were just waiting to go, uh, they had to give me a job to do, so I tested um, hearing. And then my next job was uh, <coughs> when the new recruits got there, I marched them over to the barber shop for their fashionable haircuts. Um, and after that, we went, we started actual basic training. <coughs> a lot of uh, routine stuff in the beginning, just learning how to, uh, you know, obey the orders. And then we had a lot of um, you know, PT physical training we did every morning um, then uh, we went through several uh, courses obstacle courses uh, physical training and then uh, to the rifle range where we uh, qualified for uh, for uh, rifle by feeling about the enemy, but I didn't like them very much. <laughs> they didn't like us either. Um, I felt at the time that we had a definite mission. We really, was, it was important that we were there to help the South Vietnamese and to keep the spread of um, communism in that part of the world. Today, um, well, if we were, if, if the U.S. as the forces would have been allowed to continue on as um, regular fighting force, we probably would have been an altogether different outcome. But consequently, um, it was being um, micromanaged from several thousand miles away, and uh, well, I guess we all know how it eventually turned out after 10 years. Yeah, I rode home. Uh, I don't recall how many times, not too many times, and I'd have time, I'd write a letter home and just describing what the country was like and what we were doing. Um, and that was about all I was able to, to talk about. Well, I think it's important that everybody knows what, uh, what we did over there and why we were there. And, um, Hopefully there would not be a repeat of that type of uh, situation. If we're going to be in war, let's go to win. I don't know as much I can say about that. Um, yeah, naturally you're going to feel stress, especially when you're going out to some place where you know you might be shot at. Um, naturally there's a certain amount of maybe quite a bit of stress involved in, in that situation, but uh, something you just learn to cope with. It becomes a day, an everyday occurrence. My last day over there was, um, I just knew I was gonna be coming, coming back to the States and um, got on a small twin engine uh, plane, I don't remember what it was now, and I flew to Saigon and then was there for um, a few days to before I was uh,
processed and got on the plane to come back to uh, uh, d discharge in Oakland, California. And um, we decided there, the ones of us were together were leaving there. <laughs> Once we were discharged, we decided that Oakland, California, being close to uh, Berkeley was not a good place to, uh, to hang out. We'd probably get in some trouble with uh, the protesters. So got on the plane and got out of there. Actually, I flew from Oakland. I went down to uh, Los Angeles to see this old buddy of mine from, from Fort Benning, spent a few days there. And then um, I flew into, uh, from there I flew to uh, Denver and then got a plane to Grand Island. And um, it was just nice to see good old Nebraska again when, when I got off the plane. When I first uh, got back home here to Aurora, I, um, well, prior to being drafted, I was living in Chicago, and I'd gone to school there and uh, was working there for the airlines when I was drafted. And I could have gone back there, and I decided I didn't want to go back to Chicago, so I was uh, here in Aurora for a couple of years. Um, tried my hand at farming and some other things, and then I decided to go to Denver where I worked with the um, electric utility company in Denver. Worked on electric meters until I decided to move back. Uh, well, I met my wife there and uh, we decided that uh, maybe Nebraska was a good place to raise a family, so I came back here and uh, started farming. Been here ever since. Uh, Yes, it influenced me a lot. Um, I am very much pro-military. I think we need to have a very strong military in this country, um, which I hope that that will be able to be brought back to full force, which it's very important, not only for us, but for the whole world. Um, yes, we definitely need that. I could talk a little bit about Agent Orange. We didn't realize what was really happening, what they were doing with Agent Orange until, you know, sometime later, and then uh, found out what the side effects were of Agent Orange, which can be devastating to a lot of people. I, um, in recent years, about 14 years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer, which is definitely can be caused by Agent Orange. Um, today I'm, I'm cancer free. It was all taken care of with surgery. Agent Orange can be, affect many different uh, health issues and it needs to be addressed more aggressively than it is today.